My name is Esther from the VintageHomemakersLife.com. I am so glad you are here on my channel. So anyway, I um, have a project I'm going to do today. I want to share with you some steps of how to um, paint these frames with black chalk paint. And I'm actually going to use some white wax today. What about you? But I am enjoying this fall day. It's gloomy outside and rainy here in Seattle. I've got my hot coffee with my pumpkin spice and my cozy sweater. It's one of those days. Anyway, just tell me down below in your comments uh, what's weather in your area. Is it feeling like fall in your area yet? Anyway, I'd love to hear from you. But anyway, if you would like to uh, see more about how to paint these frames, um, keep watching. In all honesty, I've never used white wax before. Those of you that are experts probably will find my process very interesting. But anyway, here is the before frames. So I have a little boy in my office with me today as I am showing you how to paint these frames. We haven't picked out a name for him. If you guys have ideas of a name for him. Anyway, he is so cute. He's a purebred Maine Coon. He's just wanting to go play. So I'm gonna let him play. I'm quickly taking the art out before I start. I'm using a Thinian Black chalk paint. And then here I have an Annie Sloan paintbrush and it's upside down. Oops, sorry. <laughs> and this is the Annie Sloan white wax. This is what it looks like before I start. So I'm applying a small amount of the black chalk paint. And then I take a paper towel and wipe it off. I am just wanting a light coat so that when I apply the white wax, you can see the wood and a little bit of black. I did the sides as well. I am now applying a thick coat of white wax, trying to get inside the grooves. I'm applying pressure to the raised edges making sure to apply wax into the grooves. And then putting pressure on the edges and I'm here using a clean paper towel to get the edges cleared off of any wax. And then I keep going with the process. Fill in the grooves, clean off the edges. And here it is up close. So I am taking a paper towel and I'm wiping down the raised edge. And then I'm also going to wipe down the outer edge. And I wanna show you up close to see what the process I am applying. And here we go again, and you can really see this time how I'm trying to get this off. And then I take my finger and I'm putting pressure to, to get a really nice, smooth finish. And as you can see, it is a mess. So you could probably use a paper towel, but I just think it's a lot smoother using my fingers. And you just keep adding pressure. This corner is not 
going so well. Well, I think I'm going to have to add some more wax. Oh, there you go. It's getting smoother. I think I'm going to need a little more. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Phew, I got that done. I think it looks good now. Then I take a paper towel and then I apply pressure on the raised edge. And then I'm also applying pressure on the outer edge. I'm wanting to give it a rustic look. I'm not really sure how this all really looks. You guys can tell me <laughs> what you guys think. But I think I learned something along the way here. It takes a little patience and a little time. This whole process actually is only taking me about a half hour. So let's see, I'm finishing it up. And I also did the sides, cleaning up all the wax on the sides, making sure there's nothing clumped up. It's finally done. It has the rustic look that I love. I think I'm going to really enjoy the Victorian rustic look. So it's the next day, and this thick area here is still a little wet. I'm going to let it dry, and then once I do that, I will show you what it looks like back on my wall. It took about two days for the white wax to dry. I love how it looks in my home. Let me know if you like this DIY. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Anyways, um, thank you for watching and see you next time.